Welcome everyone to jackfruit. Jackfruit is uh, an unusual fruit to those who have never seen it. Um, it is uh, a, a fruit with a spiky greenish yellowish uh, covering to it and uh, hard uh, to cut through and, and hard to prep. It's the largest fruit in the world. I have some photos here of it. Uh, some, there are some jackfruit trees, uh, some uh, jackfruits with the seed in them. Here you can see the fruit as well as the whole, uh, the, the, the individual pods as well as the whole fruit. And there you see it uh, as you're cutting into it. Uh, amazing uh, food. You can see just the size of them here. Uh, they are big. And uh, and that's and with a spiky skin, they can be a bit intimidating. Uh, jackfruit grows up to three feet in length and can weigh up to a hundred pounds, and they can be lethal if you are an unsuspecting passerby walking beneath the jackfruit tree, or taking a nap, uh, leaned propped up against your favorite jackfruit tree, and the hundred-pound fruit falls. Um, it can be lethal and people die from falling jackfruit uh, every year. But inside uh, of that hard, spiky exterior is a soft, pulpy fruit when ripe. And when unripe, a bit more fibrous and chewy. Uh, so we'll talk about both ripe and unripe uh, jackfruit today uh, because they're really two different, uh, you know, two different uh, foods all together. Uh, ripe jackfruit has a floral or nectary taste. And one of our students compared it to eating a thick flower petal. And, uh, and uh, also compared it in taste to a lychee, if you've ever had uh, lychees. In fact, lychees kind of have a, uh, an exterior that is similar to jackfruit. The lychees are red, but a little spiky too, just like jackfruit. Anyway, the taste is, is, is somewhat floral or nectary. Uh, others describe the taste of jackfruit as a cross between a banana and a pineapple with a bit of mango and green apple tossed right in. Uh, so it's, it, is, um, it, it has a, a mix of flavors in it. It's a complex uh, food. One student said it tastes like juicy fruit bubble gum. And I agree with that. That's my experience of jackfruit. Uh, that it tastes like juicy fruit bubble gum. But others say, no, jackfruit is really funky. One student even said it had a hint of stinky feet, that there is a funk to it. And, and I've experienced that with uh, jackfruits as well. The first time I saw jackfruit, I felt like the aliens had invaded. They have like a cactus-like shell, which was wholly unfamiliar to me. And, uh, and seemed otherworldly. It seemed almost Venetian, like a fruit from Venus. And uh, that was 2008, I was living in Bangladesh. Actually, I took this photo here uh, of the jackfruit trees uh, when I was um, outside of Dhaka uh, and uh, studying in the, um, you know, studying the water table, arsenic in the water table outside of uh, Dhaka city. And, uh, and there were some jackfruit trees growing. So I took a, that picture of them and, uh, and so uh, what seemed to me like a, uh, an alien fruit, uh, I realized that I, I was the alien, right? I, that, that jackfruit is a familiar fruit throughout the tropics and it's used in a ton of different recipes uh, throughout Asia and South Asia and really uh, in the tropics all over the world. It's a distant relative of the fig uh, tree and banyan trees as well uh, and it, and it grows, uh, it, and it also, as you, you know, it grows all over Bangladesh, all over India. And it's uh, refreshing and cool. So people serve it on a hot summer day, which is exactly the opposite of today. Here in Asheville, North Carolina, the temperatures are dropping. And I just spoke with my in-laws in Kansas City uh, that it was uh, three degrees uh, yesterday and was supposed to go down to something like negative 12. So um, uh, I see some more people are jumping in on the call here. I'll, I'll let you all in. Um, okay, 
So uh, very cold here this time of year. So we have to be a little careful of jackfruit this time of year. I'm going to show you how to eat it in winter uh, because typically it's, it's a fruit grown in the tropics to help refresh you on a hot summer day. When you need something hydrating because you're sweating out in the hot sun, and when you need something sweet to revive your spirit, uh, jackfruit uh, uh, really fits the bill. In fact, a jackfruit lassie is something uh, that you know could be quite refreshing on a uh, summer day. Or a sorbet with jackfruit. Uh, one of the things about jackfruit that we'll uh, learn as we go through is that ripe jackfruit has an unctuous quality, a bit of oiliness that gives a jackfruit sorbet a dairy-like creaminess to it. And I hope that uh, that is appealing. I mean, a lot of your uh, sorbets are a little bit rougher in texture than an ice cream. Uh, so here we have a jackfruit with a bit of unctuous quality uh, to, to give it a bit of creaminess. Now that's all, uh, that's all ripe jackfruit. Ripe jackfruit has a floral taste. Ripe jackfruit is sweet. Ripe jackfruit tastes like juicy fruit and revives the spirit and is hydrating and a little and sweet and unctuous. What about unripe jackfruit? Unripe jackfruit is has a meaty texture and that it's that meaty texture that has given jackfruit its recent popularity among vegetarian circles. And you can even say that jackfruit is the new tofu. Uh, it, you know, in the uh, in the first wave of vegetarianism in the in the West, uh, you you know you had uh, people eating uh, tofu and getting into macrobiotics, and it is uh, and the the vegetarian fads have changed over time, and uh, and here you can see in Asheville, North Carolina, we have vegetarian restaurants that represent like first wave, second wave, uh, where it was all about. Um, uh, in the first and second wave, more about Asian food. And now they're in the last 10 years, 15 years, there's been an explosion of really creative, awesome uh, vegetarian food and jackfruit is riding that wave. Uh, so some, uh, some people compare it to, uh, to uh, pork or, 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 or even goat. In fact, in Bengali, uh, jackfruit is sometimes referred to as uh, gachpata which is, uh, which means uh, uh, tree goat because of its similarity to, uh, in texture of the unripe jackfruit uh, to meat. And so it also shreds like pork. So you see these shredded pork sandwiches, but there are no pork in it at all. It's entirely vegetarian jackfruit sandwich. And even today, before uh, the call, I was experimenting with uh, barbecue sauce and jackfruit, just getting ready for today, trying out some things, putting in the broiler, see if I can get a nice crispy edge to it, um, you know, enjoying uh, uh, time in the kitchen uh, before a call. It's always, um, you know, it was a lot of fun. So I like to marinate the chunks in barbecue sauce overnight and use them as a fill, broil them and use them as a filling in a taco. Anyway, clearly jackfruit is more complex than your everyday fruit. It's not just uh, uh, something, it's not just like a banana, a sweet banana, but it's also a vegetable and, uh, and it, can, uh, it can be made into smoothies as a drink uh, and it's it cooked in, in savory dishes and as a substitute for meat. So very versatile food and two main varieties, the ripe jackfruit and the unripe jackfruit. Uh, before we continue and get into the real medicinal effects, uh, effects of it, I'm just going to tell you where the information uh, in today's talk is, comes from. And, uh, and the, this, is, this information on jackfruit was part of a study that we did at the Joyful Belly Food Labs in 2019 with our students in the Mastering Ayurvedic Digestion and Nutrition Certification course. And this is a one-year program uh, with uh, for people who want to specialize in Ayurvedic digestion, nutrition, and food. So during the study, students ate jackfruit fruit for three days and journaled the pharmacological effects. And, uh, and then we put them together along with uh, studying the literature uh, on jackfruit as well. And, and together that makes uh, the information from today's talk. 
Uh, so let's hear from one of the students who participated in the study, actually gave a great write-up. So I'm just going to read it entirely. Uh, she wrote, I currently have four jackfruit plants growing at various stages of development in my garden. I like how almost every part of the plant can be utilized for healing as well as culinary fun. My favorite way of eating jackfruit is when it is ripe and becomes sweet. First of all, the exterior of a jackfruit is spiky, rough, green, and pokey. To dismantle the fruit, you have to cut through the harder sections, tear off the rind, and work through the sticky latex sap to get to the fruit, which surrounds a hard inner core of a seed. It's a messy, involved process, but I enjoy it. The raw fruit is reminiscent of an artichoke not only in taste, but in texture. And by raw here, she means unripe. The unripe fruit has uh, a bit of an artichoke, reminiscent of an artichoke, uh, which is also a, uh, like eating a big flower petal. And, uh, and you could, you'll see the similarity if you've had um, unripe jackfruit before. So the, the unripe fruit is a bit reminiscent of an artichoke, not only in taste, but also in texture. The seeds are also edible and can be boiled or roasted. They are also mild in taste with a texture that varies from creamy to thick and mealy. Both the green jackfruit and the seeds serve as perfect foils for spices, sauces, and flavorings. And by green jackfruit here, she means the unripe jackfruit. The unripe jackfruit is very bland in flavor, uh, which makes it perfect for sauces like barbecue sauces and jerk sauces, uh, and Caribbean jerk sauces. And, uh, and they will easily take on the flavor of anything added to them. This chameleon-like character to the jackfruit and its meat-like texture makes it possible to mimic meat dishes. And that is why in Bengali, the jackfruit is called tree goat or gach pata. And there is a heaviness and stickiness to the fruit, which is moistening and cooling. So great write-up from one of our students there who is familiar with the jackfruit. Uh, here, I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about the medicinal qualities of ripe jackfruit. Here we see a nice jackfruit lassie, uh, and there's some spices mixed into it to warm it up. It looks like I, I see some cloves here, uh, star anise, and some turmeric, and a mint leaf sprig on top. Um, so jack ripe jackfruit is cooling and refreshing for hot climates, but it's also cold and slimy. So uh, so not so great for winter, right? And in the Northern Hemisphere, where I live right now, it's winter. Uh, here's what a student said. Jackfruit gave me a cooling feeling, like I had drunk a glass of cool water. And as I was experimenting with jackfruit all morning and afternoon, I have to say, I agree. The fruit is known for its cold quality uh, in the literature as well. And, uh, and it's slimy too. Uh, one student said, it felt slimy on my uh, tongue. It felt slimy on my teeth as well. And that's like lychees. I compared jackfruit to lychees earlier. And lychees are a little bit slimy too. A lot of fruits are, even a pear can be a little bit slimy and a banana is a little bit slimy. So not unusual there. And a lot of these colder fruits have a kind of dampness to them. I mean, you wouldn't want to eat them on a damp, rainy, cold day. You want to eat them on a hot day, generally. Uh, here's what another student had to say. Normally my temperature is at 96 degrees, but, uh, but it was around 92 degrees on the mornings I was eating jackfruits. So very interesting uh, that the temperature, the person's temperature went down. Uh, and that's what, that is what the literature says uh, uh, happens with, uh, with jackfruit. So pitta people, pitta individuals relish these cold qualities of jackfruits. One student said, I usually have a pitta burning feeling in my chest, but this dampened out that fire and I could fully breathe. Another student said, I had no itchiness. And the literature says that, uh, that jackfruit is used in wound healing and as a blood coagulant in wounds. And that could be because of the high potassium content in jackfruit. For vata and kapha, who tends to be a little bit more cold uh, the, jack, the story on jackfruit is altogether different. It's unpleasant. As we're in the Northern Hemisphere right now, in the dead of winter, uh, some students who did the experiment noticed their chest was more mucousy after eating jackfruit. And that's what we would expect with a cold fruit. 
uh, the student wrote, there was an uneasiness in my lungs, like I was about to start wheezing, and I had to drink hot water with some trichotu. And trichotu is a kind of very spicy herb and popular herb combination in Ayurveda. Uh, the cold heaviness of jackfruit made arthritic joints more stiff and stagnant, and that's typical too. Cold generally increases stagnancy, stiffness, and pain, and, and tension as well, and we'll see that. So one student wrote, my upper right stress knot got worse. So the student may have had a, a stress knot in their neck or, up, or upper back, shoulder area. Another uh, person wrote, it made all my joints more stiff and dramatically increased my body pain, which cold will do. If a person has some uh, body pain, uh, oftentimes uh, coldness will make it worse uh, unless it's uh, specifically associated with inflammation. All right, so for Vata individuals that are generally aggravated by cold, jackfruit increased anxiety and jumpiness. Nine out of 28 students reported feeling more tension after eating jackfruit. And again, I think that's because they're eating it in winter. Um, and, uh, and the stagnancy will aggravate cold, uh, kapha, cold, cold kapha types as well, uh, making them feel a little foggy, uh, depressing energy levels. Here's what one kapha student had to say. I kept falling into heavy sleeps mid-afternoon every day and woke up groggy. I wanted to rest, but I'm a doer and I also wanted to accomplish many things. However, I was drawn to mo eating more sweets and wanted to sit and watch movies. So I felt like uh, jackfruit moved me swiftly into kapha mode. All right, so what are you gonna do? If you're eating jackfruit in the winter, uh, using it as a meat substitute in your vegetarian different, uh, dishes, what you wanna do is warm it up, making sure you're sprinkling some ginger or cayenne on top of it or other spices uh, to give it a little bit of sharpness and pungency, and that will easily balance out the cold qualities. It's actually really easy to make cold foods more warm with spices, but it's very difficult to take a hot food and make it cooling. Uh, so we're in luck here. We can make jackfruit have basically any temperature profile we really want it to have. All right, so jackfruit is cooling. It's also nourishing. It's used uh, to strengthen people. So a uh, person who needs body strength uh, can turn to jackfruit in moderation. Again, because jackfruit's heavy, you don't, if a person's weak, you don't want to give them too much jackfruit uh, unless you are giving them digestives as well. But otherwise, uh, if, but otherwise the, the sweetness and nourishing qualities of jackfruit is good for a person who needs body strength. There's actually an unctuousness and oiliness to ripe jackfruit. And, uh, and jackfruit is ojas building. If you know what that term means, that means it's just basically nourishing uh, and building. It increases sperm count in males. Uh, jackfruit also rebuilds fluids. Take a look at what these students had to say about the cracks on their tongue. Uh, students said, my tongue was more hydrated after eating jackfruit. It became more wide and plump. Cracks disappeared and, uh, and it had more coating than, you, than usual. So increase the tongue coating, which is a sign of its nourishing quality. Uh, and also it's a sign that it could be building up ama in, in their body. Six out of 28 students noticed cracks on their tongue were smaller and shorter, while only two students noticed an increase in cracks. All right, so jackfruit is uh, uh, used for, ripe jackfruit is used for nourishing. And, uh, and it's sweet, and so it revives the spirit. Now, here's a picture of unripe jackfruit. You notice that it's more white in color. And uh, let's, let's compare. We can jump back up. Here are the uh, ripe jackfruits, much more yellow and softer. And then the unripe is harder. And, uh, and that's what has the meat-like texture. This fibrous, difficult to chew, rubbery, uh, spongy, uh, chewy, uh, unripe jackfruit is satisfying because all of that difficulty chewing usually means a bit of difficulty digesting. So it's gonna be satisfying in the stomach and uh, for, for a while. It's not just gonna be something that disappears. Like 
uh, for example, if you eat ice cream, ice cream kind of just melts and seems to somewhat disappear. It doesn't make the stomach feel very full. It has a quality called vanishing caloric density. And, uh, and that tends to not to satisfy people's appetites. But something fibrous and chewy that sits in your stomach for a bit does satisfy people. So that's why one student wrote, after eating the jackfruit, I felt less hungry. And it filled me up quickly. Um, and as jackfruit ripens, it becomes more soft and more tender and, uh, and easier to digest. But nevertheless, even ripe jackfruit is still a bit heavy on, uh, on digestion. So we just have to always uh, be a little mindful that we are not dowsing our agni when eating jackfruit. Uh, 12 of 28 students had more gas and bloating while eating jackfruit. And most uh, other students had the, uh, did not notice an increase or a decrease. Um, another student wrote, I could hear gurgling as the jackfruit moved through my body. Another student said, 12 hours after eating it, I had a stitch in my side. So maybe the jackfruit was kind of stuck there in the intestines uh, for a bit, waiting to undergo uh, further digestion. Another student wrote, after I swallowed the jackfruit, it felt very heavy in my stomach, like a ton of bricks. So, uh, however, most students reported that the heavy effect doesn't last very long, that uh, after about 30 minutes, they no longer felt the weight of the jackfruit in their stomach anymore. And then the student wrote, my appetite came back with a vengeance. The ripe jackfruit has a bit of a laxative effect, increasing frequency and softness of stools, uh, but the unripe jackfruit has an astringent taste to it. And one student wrote, it made all the extra saliva in my mouth dried out. Well, if some food makes all the saliva in your mouth dry out, it may dry out your colon as well. And, and so that astringent taste together with jackfruit's cooling effect increased constipation for some students. Uh, one student who failed to remove the bitter pods from the unripe jackfruit, these pods that surround the jackfruit, uh, let's see, you see these, there are these little pods here and, and, and in the seeds and around, uh, and around the seeds, sometimes you can get a, a sticky latex, uh, maybe more in the unripe fruit, like around these pods here. And that has a bitterness to it, which actually can get into your cooking. So you don't want to, you want to remove those to uh, make sure that your food doesn't become too bitter. Anyway, that bitter latex had a laxative effect for some students. All right, great. So two different varieties of jackfruit. The ripe one, which is sweet, unctuous, and building. Uh, and, the, uh, and the unripe one, which is chewy and, uh, and more difficult to digest and astringent. All right, let's go through some cooking on jackfruit. So look, I have some beautiful pictures of recipes with jackfruit. Here is using jackfruit somewhat like pulled pork. You're shredding it and pulling it apart with a fork and then putting in some barbecue sauce and using it as a filling for tacos. I actually uh, made this uh, when my mother-in-law was in town this last weekend and I let them know, okay, we're trying a little something different here. They were up for it. I didn't want to surprise my mother-in-law with some uh, strange, uh, strange concoction, and uh, and and they but they were all adventurous and up for it, and they tried it and they liked it. So uh, so you can see here, there's a great variety of ways. Here, uh, it's being uh, cooked in a soup, and you see here in a curry in Bangladesh, they make a shrimp curry with it uh, there, and that uh, that's delicious, delicious way to prepare it. So the ripe jackfruit, you can eat it alone. You can make it into a dessert or a candy. You can puree it and fold it into a custard. There's jackfruit custards. You can bake it into a jackfruit cake. Or it's also often served as a flavoring in shaved ice. And I'm, I showed you a picture before. You can make a lassie with it. The unripe jackfruit has the more meaty texture and bland taste, reminiscent of artichoke hearts or heart of palm. And, uh, and that makes it easy to pair with sauces and spices, like barbecue sauce, jerk sauce, or teriyaki. And uh, great, let's go through here uh, of the seeds. Yes, the seeds are also edible. I mentioned that earlier. And 
Uh, they're creamy, milky, or me or mealy, somewhat like a Brazil nut. And another student compared them to a chestnut, a bit like a chestnut, having a slightly sweet and nutty flavor. Buying jackfruit in the northern hemisphere, in the tropical countries of the hem hem northern hemisphere, uh, jackfruit ripens in June. And then you can see it in the stores and sometimes uh, Whole Foods or other stores in the United States will carry them as well. And the more yellow the pulp, the, the pods on the inside, the sweeter the taste. Um, and, uh, uh, and if fresh jackfruit's not available, or if you don't have the patience to prep the whole fruit, uh, you can get the unripe jackfruit canned at Trader Joe's. That's the one our students recommend. They tried uh, canned jackfruit from several different vendors and, uh, and the canned one from uh, Trader Joe's was the one they liked the best. So, so that's the one I got and that, that I've been experimenting with. It's unripe jackfruit. We'll have to wait for June uh, to get some more of the uh, ripe jackfruit. All right, uh, when prepping jackfruit, I'll, I'll mention this, that sticky latex, you don't want that to stick to you. It, that sticky latex will stain anything it touches. So, uh, so to prevent this, oil your hands and, uh, and that will help. All right, good. That's, uh, that's jackfruit in a nutshell. Um, unripe and ripe jackfruit, exciting uh, ingredient to prepare, great in desserts, uh, great as a meat substitute in vegetarian dishes. Uh, this study was sponsored by the Mastering Ayurveda Digestion and Nutrition Professional Ayurveda Certification Course, uh, where our students did a study on this and uh, where our students are doing studies every week on, on different foods. I'm gonna give uh, a, a talk on our next food, tamarind, in March. So stay tuned for that. And I'm also uh, going to stay on the line uh, for anyone who has any questions they would uh, like to like to ask. So you can unmute your line or type it in the chat. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>